Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be preparing some chicken tenders wrapped in peppercorn bacon. So stick around. So welcome back to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. This is a channel that takes you on barbecue crawls to fun and interesting places. We serve up delicious backyard recipes and great barbecue. And delicious intercooking with Sassy. So today we're going to be making some using chicken breast, uh, cutting them into long strips, wrapping them in bacon, and we're going to smoke them on the Traeger today. And we'll be glazing them with a ma buttery maple chipotle glaze, so very light glaze. So they should be delicious. We'll be cooking them at about 350 until on the, the Traeger. On the Traeger until the temperature is at about what 165. Yeah, you want to get uh, that chicken uh, internal temperature to at least 165. Okay, so let's get started. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, tap that bell so you don't miss a thing. And we love comments down below to share your barbecue experiences. Okay, so let's get started. Here we have some chicken breasts. A uh, good a helpful tip is to marinate your meat beforehand. Have everything prepared to cook and um, know what you're going to put in there. So I'm going to cut this into a few strips here, three, and I'm going to wrap them in bacon. We're going to do the first one. Actually, first let me tell you what I marinated this in. I marinated this in uh, Tony's Catchery's uh, Creole seasoning overnight, and um, that seasoning is really awesome. So we're going to start wrapping our first chicken uh, tender here. I'm going to wrap one of these and then, so I'm going to wrap it all the way around. I usually start in the middle. I'm going to put a toothpick in here to keep the um, bacon in place. Remember to take the toothpicks out after you cook these. Very important. You don't want to be choking on a toothpick. Tip number three. Okay, so. Here we have our wrapped chicken tender. We're going to put, I'm going to put this one aside. I'm going to finish wrapping the rest and then we'll meet you out at the smoker. All right, as Sassy mentioned, we're going to be doing this on the Traeger. A little text tonight, we're using a blend of hardwood pellets from Pit Boss. We got them at the local box warehouse store. Pretty cheap, less than $14 for a big old bag, so happy about that. We're setting it for $350, and we're making sure that the grill is nice and clean. Uh, it's getting ready for wonderful chicken that we're going to feast on tonight. Until the internal temperature is at about 165 and then we're going to put a very light glaze on them a maple buttery maple syrup and chipotle so now I'm going to be making a glaze I'm going to be using this crown maple syrup I'm going to use about uh, an ounce and a half of this I'm going to be using a quarter cup of butter and I've got about a teaspoon of chipotle powder in here. And we're gonna melt this butter, we're gonna put in the maple syrup, we're gonna mix it up and, and get ready to glaze those tenders. Okay, we have our melted butter with our chipotle powder. Now we're going to uh, open up this maple syrup and put about an ounce and a half of this. We probably won't use all of this glaze, but I always like to have more than enough. And then we're going to go ahead and stir it up. Let's put this aside. I actually want to taste this to see how it tastes. Make sure it has enough chipotle in it. 
I don't want it to be really too hot, but I just want to kick because we did use that Tony's Cacharese Creole seasoning on the chicken. So let's see. Mmm, that's yummy. It's just got a hint of spice to the maple syrup. I think I'll go ahead and mix this again with a little whisk and um, we'll set it aside. And then when the chicken tenders get up to about 140, I'm gonna glaze them. All right, a lot of you guys are wondering uh, past weeks, I get a lot of questions about the smokestack mod on the Traeger here. Um, again, I'll leave a uh, link in the description to that video or a card up here, go check it out. Uh, as far as an update, this thing works beautifully. Uh, the temperatures shoot right on up. Um, it's more efficient. I can get higher temperatures faster. And uh, I, I've really seen no negative trends at all cooking on this Traeger. Um, so I highly recommend this modification to uh, any pellet grill that comes with a side smokestack. I'm not too sure about the ones that vent out the back, these little slots. Not sure if anything could be done to fix those except adding the smokestack. But uh, highly recommend it. Um, go check out that video and let me know what you think. All right, we're gonna check our chicken tenders here. Oh, they're looking good. And we wanna see what the temperature is. This looks like the thickest piece, so I'll just go in here. There's there. Well, they look they're actually almost done. Ah, they're already at that um, 165 point. Take them inside and test them out. Okay folks, our chicken tenders are done. Don't they look beautiful? We tenderized them in Tony Cacheri's uh, Creo seasoning overnight. Then we um, cut them into strips, wrapped them in bacon, put them on the Traeger smoker until the temperature was about 165. In this case, it came a little bit, just a little bit higher than that. And then we glazed them with a buttery maple chipotle glaze. And this was the thermometer that we used. I really like this. It's it's really accurate, and um, I, I wish we would have got this sooner. This is a thermal pen. Get you one at our store on Amazon. So now let's uh, grab one of these delicious looking tenders and cut into it. First, we're going to remove these toothpicks that I told you about. Make sure you get it all. Let's see. Maybe I might want to do this with my fingers. There we go. There we go. And we're going to cut into it. Oh, look at that little smoke ring on there. Can you see that? Whoops. Little smoke ring. The bacon looks great. I'm sure the flavor is there as well. Let's give these a try. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. You have to try you some of these. The Tony Catchery season, that um, little hint of uh, spice 
in there with the maple syrup and the butter over the top. Really good. Nice little, um, nice little snack actually. You could put this in a piece of bread, um, make a sandwich. You can eat this with chicken and waffles, right? You want to taste any? Chicken and waffles? Yeah. Well, yeah, this is ooh, a little hot. Mm. I think I'll go in for a bite myself. Mm. Gotta try that bacon first. Yeah, bacon's really nice. Chicken's nice and hot. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, baby. Good. Thumbs up. All mm. right. Mm -hmm. Let's get after these. All right, folks. There you have it. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Smash that bell so that you won't miss any updates. And we'll see you next time.